Ten times Naruto was darker than it needed to be. Few Naruto characters were immune to the darkness that lurked just beyond the surface of the brighter world. It's hard to believe a show about children training as ninja would have a lot of dark moments. But Naruto and his peers are being ready to face a multitude of dangers in their daily lives. Kanoha is under constant threat by other villages and the pain caused by past wars seems to carry the pain of war into the next generations. The show was able to balance its darker themes with its light-hearted humor, but there were still moments that came across as way too dark when compared to the overall story. Few characters were immune to the darkness that lurked just beyond the surface of the brighter world. 10. Kakashi Kills His Friend During a conversation with Sasuke, Kakashi reveals that he has suffered through a lot of loss in life. One of the greatest losses for Kakashi had to be the loss of his friend. Rin Rin was forcibly turned into a Jinchuriki. The plan was to have Rin destroy Kanoha as soon as she returned to her village. Rin decided to end her life to prevent the destruction from happening. Rin threw herself in front of Kakashi's Chidori. Kakashi could only look in horror as he took the life of the girl he loved. 9. Danzo Steals Shirsue's Eyes Danzo was known for being incredibly power-hungry. No matter what Danzo did, no one ever made any moves to stop him. He is one of the major village leaders. And he plays a key role in the downfall of the Uchiha clan. Shirsui was one of the few people capable of stopping the coup and his plan for peace may have worked if Danzo hadn't interfered. Danzo stole one of Shirsue's eyes and wanted Shirsue's power for himself since he didn't believe Shirsui could stop the Uchiha. 8. Sasuke's Death in the Land of Waves Team 7 had been assigned various small missions after their graduation. Then, they were assigned to help escort a bridge builder back to his homeland in the Land of Waves. The mission would end up being a lot more difficult than they were anticipating. Sasuke, Naruto, Sakura, and Kakashi found themselves facing almost constant threats. While protecting the bridge builder, Sasuke appears to have died from an attack from Haku. Haku only made it appear as if he killed Sasuke, but that didn't make Sakura's tears any less heartbreaking. 7. The second stage of the Chunin exams almost kills the participants. With Kakashi's recommendation, Team 7 is encouraged to take part in the Chunin exams. It may have begun as an ordinary test. But the test quickly became deadly. When the young ninja enter a place called the Forest of Death, Sasuke is attacked by Orochimaru, changing his life forever. Naruto and Sasuke are both unconscious while Sakura tries to defend them. Many children's lives were put on the line and none of the adults intervened. 6. The Impact of Jiraiya's Death Jiraiya had learned the origin of the Akatsuki's leader. Though Tsunade had offered to lend him a hand, he reminded her that the village needed her. He ended up having to deal with pain by himself. He had no way of knowing he was about to die at the hands of his former student. Pain would kill Jiraiya using the very things that his former teacher had taught him. The impact of Jiraiya's death wasn't only felt by people like Naruto and Tsunade, but also by everyone who viewed those episodes. After all, Naruto lost someone who was like family to him. 5. Niji nearly beating his cousin to death. Niji and Hinata Hyuga were matched up to fight. Despite being outmatched, Hinata refuses to back down, but Niji didn't show any compassion towards his cousin. He hit her with everything he had. The battle ended with Hinata on the ground, and Niji having to be restrained. Hinata had to be wheeled away, as she was at death's door. Niji's callous disregard for her life is due to his own troubling past. His cruelty was inspired by the cruelty he'd faced in life. 
4. Itachi, torturing his brother. Itachi was put in a difficult place and he had to slaughter his entire clan. He struggled a lot as he took the lives of the people he was closest to. The only person he was allowed to spare was his beloved younger brother. But Sasuke wasn't left completely unaffected. Itachi used his Sharingan to torture his brother for hours. In the end, Sasuke was left with nothing but an intense hatred for his brother. 3. Naruto endured a horrible childhood. Naruto lost both his parents on the day he was born. He grew up in a village that hated him while he had no idea why he was so disliked. He was ignored and alone for most of his childhood and no one in the entire village seemed to care for him. Naruto's parents had sacrificed their lives to protect the village and the fourth Hokage sealed Kurama into his son for the sake of the village. Since Naruto's parentage was kept a closely guarded secret, the village treated him terribly. 2. Sasuke tried to destroy the world. After Sasuke helped the villagers defeat Kagaya, he was still lost. Sasuke had a plan to completely change the world. To achieve his goal, he would have to destroy the current world system and order. Naruto steps up to fight his best friend, ready to lay down his life to stop Sasuke. Naruto is the only one who can save the world but he still isn't willing to end the life of the first person he connected with. 1. Kagaya almost drains the world of chakra. Kagaya was one of the greatest threats the Naruto universe had to face. Kagaya was able to enact a genjutsu that trapped the entire world. If she hadn't been stopped, the world's population might have continued to be trapped. The world would have been drained of their chakra and turned into mindless slaves. Kagaya's goal was to take control of everyone else's chakra. If Kagaya had succeeded, she would have been completely unstoppable. <laughs>